Things have been really difficult. I've recently separated from my husband and I lost my mum too. I'll be honest, I was having thoughts of suicide and I wasn't sure I could keep myself safe. I had no idea where to go, but I needed to speak to somebody, so I went to the hospital. When I got there, I was feeling really stressed, but the receptionist reassured me that I had done the right thing. It was really busy, but I was seen by a nurse called Lucy, who told me she was specially trained to support people experiencing distress. I felt I was in a safe place. I was being listened to. An emergency department doctor came to talk with me. I told him that I knew I was not going to act on my thoughts, but I rated my distress level at eight out of 10. They talked to me about support options available and together we agreed on a program called DBI. The nurse explained that I would be contacted the next day and supported over the next couple of weeks to find a way forward. I was already feeling more hopeful. I was sleeping when the DBI practitioner called, but they rang again and I did speak to them. I explained to David that my life had been a struggle since losing my job and the end of my marriage. My financial problems were stacking up and I felt completely lost without my mum. David asked if there was anything I found calming and I told him about my pet goldfish. My controlling partner had kept my beloved dog. We began creating a plan together to help me with my anxiety and what I could do in the event I had thoughts of suicide in the future. He agreed to meet me at my local cafe for our next session, a place that feels comfortable. Over a cuppa, David and I had a chat about organisations that would be able to provide support. I knew I wanted to talk to the local domestic violence service about my marriage and David helped me connect with them. Next, we met over video call. David was pleased to hear that I had made contact with Crew's Bereavement Support and the Money Advice Service. The mindfulness app he had recommended was really helping me to feel more settled. I had become isolated, but I felt ready to reach out to my friend. They were happy to hear from me. Oh, I can't believe how much I achieved in those 13 days. At our last session, we completed my distress management plan and I agreed a copy could be sent to my GP. I now feel way more confident to manage distress and know where I can get support as I continue my journey. I was given time, the space I needed and shown enormous compassion.